Hello vinyl community, enthusiasts, lovers of all things vinyl. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel today. I do appreciate it. My name is Timothy Capetto, and today I get to show you guys all the records I got from my vinyl haul, which I did on Saturday, this last Saturday actually here, and uh, I went down to my local record shop. They were celebrating 29 years of being in business, which is so awesome. It's such a great achievement for those guys here in our local Grand Valley here in Colorado. And, um, you know, I just went down there. There was a great festival going on, lots of great jazz and um, blues and rock music happening. It was just a really good time. And me and my dad both go went, were able to go down there and check it out. So let's go ahead and get started here, guys. This is the one of the first ones I picked up here, Winger. And um, I will say that actually all these albums, unfortunately, I have not got a chance to listen to yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I know any of these guys' songs. Look like they might be doing a cover song here of Purple Haze. It would be a Jimi Hendrix song. But um, I will let you guys know what I think of this. Also, if there's any of these albums that you see and you were just like, you know what? I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Just give me a comment down below, and I will be more than happy to give you my thoughts and first impressions on any of these albums. This is on the Atlantic Record label. Next one. Actually, I'm just going to pick up these ones because these are all from the same artist. We've got uh, Nat King Cole, and uh, this is the Harvest of Hits, so obviously a Greatest Hits album there. So that one there. No inner sleeve, but on a very nice capital record. Let's see, uh, King Cole Trio. And uh, there's the back side of that one. This is also going to be on Capitol Records on the same purple label. Next one, this is uh, Nat King Cole at the Piano. This is also going to be a capital pressing. Really, really like the artwork on these. Here, this is really awesome. Also on the purple label. Uh, when I first saw those, I was just like, got to have them, got to have them. So first, of course, I inspected them just to make sure they looked all right, but I was just happy to be able to add those to my collection. Aha, Mr. Bob Dylan. I recently just put up my first impressions of his album, Slow Train Coming. And so I was like, you know, I really enjoyed that. I was like, I should enjoy this one as well. But we shall see. It has had some harsh times. Seen better times. There's some ring wear, ring wear on it. Um, on the Columbia label there. This one is called Street Legal. So I am very excited to be able to hear what else Bob Dylan has to offer. All right. Next one. This one was recommended by my uh, my father, The Greatest Hits, Al Jolson. I believe I'm saying that right. Greatest Hits. So this one is a mystery to me at this time. Uh, any of you guys know who this gentleman is? Give me some backstory. On the Tella House, Greatest Hits of Al Jolson. All right. Nice looking record there. All right. This one I was really intrigued me. Julian Lennon. I forgot this guy has made some music from time to time. Sleeve not in that bad of condition. I was pretty happy about that. This is on the Atlantic record label. Had to pick myself up some Bill Cosby again, guys. Had to do it. Had to do it. Bill Cosby. He's a very funny fellow, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's going to be some good stuff on this one. There's going to be some great stuff. Warner Brothers. Label there. Good stuff. Looked like it was in real condition. So, again, a lot of the, all these were for a dollar. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't think I did. All of these were for a dollar each. Um, so, I'm sorry. I didn't mention that at the beginning, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, all these were for a dollar this one, this one, actually, this one, um, I bought this one for my dad. He uh, wanted to check this one out. I do not know who this is. Um, Mary Ann Faithful's Greatest Hits. Mary Ann Faithful's Greatest Hits. 
looks like a like she's a very beautiful young woman here. London is the uh, record label. Looks like next one up here is. Bobby V meets the crickets. Um, this was one my dad uh, told me to pick up. He was just like, you gotta pick that one up. I was like, okay. I like Buddy Holly, I like the crickets. I was like, why not? Let's check this guy out here. This is on, looks to be the Liberty label. I don't believe I'm familiar with this label at all. So we'll have to see what that one sounds like. I'm, I'm really actually, and I hope it's showing on camera, but I am very, very excited to hear each and every one of these records. Um, it's just hard because I haven't listened to any of these yet, so I hope I'm not doing any of you guys a disservice by not had listened to these yet. Doobie Brothers, and uh, this one is called The One Step Closer. Killer looking cover there. Great shot of the band, great shot of the band as the sun goes down as well. Super, super great. Warner Brothers label, that's the same label that they were on on the last one that I have. Ah, and of course, some more <laughs> Nat King Cole. This one is called When You're Smiling. And I have seen some people um, talk about this album and say it's very good. So this is on the Capitol label. It's a, it's a gray Capitol pressing label. There you go. <clears throat> all right, now, this uh, should look very familiar to all of you. Uh, Ram, Paul McCartney, um, found this one been on my list and I finally got it. Sleeve was in pretty good condition. Gatefold there. Again, not bad, not bad at all. Was very excited to get this one. And this is on the green apple label there. I'm excited to hear that one. All right, now I believe, if I remember correctly, yep. Last few of these. Um, are going to be Mr. Chet Atkins. I am not familiar with Chet Atkins music at all, although I do have one of his guitars, oddly enough. And this label, I don't have anything on RCA yet. Well, actually, that's not true. I've got one other record, but nothing with on this color label. Mr. Chet Atkins. Another Chet Atkins album. This one's called At Home. I really, really like this this uh, cover a lot. Got a little dirt and grime on this one, but you know, dirt and grime builds character. At least I think so. This is on RCA Victor record. Interesting. That for you. Another Chet Atkins album. It's called My Favorite Guitar is Chet Atkins. Also really like that cover as well. Having a feeling though I'm going to really enjoy his music. It's just a hunch. Also an RCA Victor label. Now, this one I got twice. Um, here you go. Da -da -da. There you go. Andy Griffith. Um, why did it get uh, both you ask? Well. From Capital. Now, if any of you know, have this album and know why, I think this is just a different pressing, probably from a different um, time, different years, perhaps, when they did this. But uh, it's on Capital label. There's that version, which is the cleaner copy, at least in terms of the um, in terms of the uh, um, cover. And there's this one. So, any of you guys have any information about that? Let me know, because I'm interested to know why they uh, 
different labels other than all I can figure out is different pressings. All right, we're all got a few more here. Anne Murray, I'll always love you. It's a super cool shot of Anne Murray there. And um, this is also on the capital purple label. I really like that label on the on any record that has that from Capitol. This one, um, Carol King, Pearl's Songs of Goffin and King. This one, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I even showed you the front. Really cool picture of her at the piano. Different song sheets there on the back. This one. Very intrigued by this one. I don't really know anything about this artist, so very intrigued. Very, very intrigued. Oh, and that's a cool. The uh, <clears throat> the aesthetic is there on the label as well. This is a Capitol record as well. Lots of stuff from Capitol. All right, and lastly, how could we not, not, not talk about uh, Miss... Tina Turner. Yes, yes. Break every rule, is, as this one is called. <laughs> Cover's not in super great shape. Probably one of the worst of the ones I got. This is on the Rainbow Capital label, which looks great. I'm oh, sorry. There you go. Well, that one's going to need some cleaning. That's going to need some cleaning for sure. Well, thank you guys so much again for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun looking at that vinyl haul because I had a lot of fun grabbing each of these records, and I can't wait to listen to each and every one of them. So thank you guys so much. Vinyl community, you are the best community out there, hands down, and I will bring you guys more videos soon. Thanks again, guys, and keep spinning that wax because this is a lifestyle, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thanks.